In the world of sport bikes, Buells are kind of an anomaly, surrounded by Yamaha, Suzuki's, and Hondas that happily rev to 13, 14, and even 15,000 RPM. Buells top out at about 7,500 RPM max. And you know what? It doesn't matter. Pound for pound, they offer just as much, and maybe even more, in the way of riding kits. After reducing the number of bikes in their lineup a year or two ago, Buell has pared their sport bike stable down to two models, the Lightning and the Firebolt. Basically, what separates the two is bodywork. Both have the same wheelbase, braking systems, seat height, and fuel capacity. There are two engine choices, 984cc and 1203cc, and both are air-cooled, push-rod-equipped V-twins. Aside from displacement, minor internal differences, and power output, these two power plants are virtually identical. Both are fuel-injected, fed by a RAM air system, feature a dry sump oil supply, have a reinforced belt final drive, and are mated to a five-speed transmission. Our test lightning churns out 92 horsepower at 5,500 RPM, and dry weight is 175 kilograms, or 385 pounds. If you're a gearhead, the Lightning is absolutely loaded with all kinds of very interesting engineering features. Here's a few highlights. Up front, we've got this very unusual disc brake arrangement with six piston calipers. To use a well-worn phrase, this vehicle will stop on a dime. The fuel is housed in the aluminum spar frame, which is also very unusual. We've got stainless steel exhaust here, and this automatic drive-built tensioner right here. And on this side, got uh, your rear passenger peg spring-loaded rider pegs with a little rub pin here, ram air system, and an oil cooler. Riding position on the Lightning is snug. Knees up, head down, feet back, in the classic sport rider posture. It gets a little better once you build up some speed and the wind forces you back a little. But once aboard, there's not a lot of wiggle room. I call the Lightning a 50-miler bike. After 50 miles, you're definitely ready for a break. And for what it's worth, Buells aren't the only models that fall into this category. The seat of the Lightning is perched fairly high off the ground, and at 726 millimeters, or 28.6 inches, it's a tippy-toe proposition for those of us that are inseam challenged. A few other observations. Engine heat coming off the Lightning is considerable. Underway, there's no problem. But stopped at a light or trolling downtown, heat radiates out of the engine at a furious rate. There is an integral fan that mitigates this somewhat, but the Lightning is a hot bike in the most literal sense. As well, there is virtually nothing in the way of storage or amenities, and the handlebars and controls are virtually identical to those found on some Ducati models. That's not a criticism, just an observation. But so what? The Lightning has its own kind of charm and can keep up with anything else in this segment. It may fall back once the speeds creep up to and over 160 kilometers an hour, but it'll get you there as fast as many of its competitors. And besides, how fast do you need to go? Prices for the Lightning XP9 start at about $13,000. The Buell Lightning is not for everybody. It's kind of like a Tasmanian devil on two wheels. It's not the biggest bike around or the most comfortable, but if you like the V-twin engine layout and you really want to get the sport bike riding experience, it could be right up your alley. Thank you.